Sunday. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Agent from Beamer Weekly. We're here at 27 at Sunoco. As you see, there's a bunch of uh, really nice cars out here. It sounds good. But we have Chargers, Beamers, E30s, you name it. All-time favorite, M4. Can't go wrong with that. So today we're reviewing a single turbo 135. Uh, it has a lot of mods to it. We're going to walk over to the vehicle and then we'll see what's going on with that. This is a 2008 135i. It has the 1M front. Uh, stock wheels, you know, pretty much sleeper if you didn't know. Pretty simple setup. We'll pop the hood. We'll show you what's in there. This vehicle was assembled by a shop in West Palm Beach. It is a Dock Race 6266 has a home and manual boost controller, precision race works coils. A pretty generic setup for, you know, the N54s. Usually the 62 or the 6466 is the, the area to go to. VRSF charge pipe, race parts loses blow off valve, seven and a half inch intercooler. And if we walk around the vehicle, it has the Braum interior. It is also an auto. It is tuned with XHP. Very interesting vehicle. Very interesting setup. Uh, pretty much the generic auto setup for a 135i. Back here, he has the wing on it. I forgot the name of this wing at the moment, but he does have the duck bill and he has a side exit Tomei style exhaust on it as well. And then now we'll go meet the owner. Hello, my name is Lalo. This is my 135 built by Beamer Speed. I bought the Dock Ray 6266, had the car for about a year, bought it with a hundred and ten thousand miles. Um, it was running all right with stock twins. I was talking to him before I went full bolt-ons and he told me what's the best upgraded twins or stock or big turbo and obviously he said big turbo so I pulled the trigger and best decision ever So what are your plans with the vehicle Lolo? Um, the motor is at 140,000 miles so it's already starting to suffer so is the transmission the transmission is slipping in the 5th and 6th gear so I'm planning to build a tranny once the engine goes and the 2J swap it Hopefully with a board warner turbo and see what, where it goes from there. So you're gonna keep the auto or you're gonna switch to manual when you go manual, to manual? Manual, for yeah, sure. That's the way to go. Yeah, for sure. With the RTD shifter. So tell, tell us about the interior. I see you did some work in there. Yeah, I have the Brom seats. Amazing. I have the from Nelson custom racing wheel. Full carbon fiber Alcantara, carbon fiber paddle shifters, custom gauge. I have a nice little wing added, the M3 GT, GTS, and then the Gretti muffler, which helped a lot because I was fully straight pipe, so it sounds better now. Uh, roughly in the low 500s, probably like 520 to the wheels on 18 pounds of boost. Yeah. And a fuel mixture, I presume? E40? Yeah. There we go. Well, we're going to do a shoot around of the vehicle, and we'll... Uh, get some some running driving opinion videos and we'll give it our Beamer weekly approved or not <laughs> that the XHP definitely very comfortable in the hands shifts like almost like a dual clutch if you tap the gas it shifts nice and smooth if you downshift 
it rev matches really quickly. Very comfortable. You do a pull. Pulls very, very good. Very responsive, I noticed too, considering a, a 6266. I do like the way it feels. Uh, the car definitely could use some suspension, though. That's definitely something I could say that it needs. So, one thing that I can definitely say about a 1 Series, it is tight. The wheelbase is a little shorter, so you have to be very cautious if you don't have a decent tire. But the lightness and the light weight of it definitely makes it comfortable. And also, the, the manual seats also make it much more smooth in locking position, so you don't move as much, what I notice as well. And the downshaft's just so awesome. I, I love the way it feels and the burbles and the pops. Sounds like you got some popcorn in the microwave, you know, but a manly version of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we got these these infinities over here trying to pass each other water. So, you know, trying to, trying to figure out what's going on with that case. So as soon as we actually have some room, I want to do some pulls of the vehicle. So I think these guys are about to do a race or trying to give each other water. Oh, oh there it goes, illegal drug pass. <laughs> Such an awesome feeling. Nothing like a BMW though, that's for sure. It just it feels feels great, feels awesome. You know, it's just if you haven't owned a BMW or have not driven a BMW with performance, it's something you have to experience. Yes, you can see it through my eyes and you can experience it through the video, but it's never the same as the, the forces of the G pulls and, 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 and the way a vehicle just reacts when it's built and tuned so nicely. You just downshift and they just push the gas, so effortless. It's just, it's like the car is just trying to lift off and go to the next dimension. It's so awesome. Well, Lalo did mention that he did want to do uh, upgraded fuel system and he wanted to change to fully 85 and build the transmission. And he said he had a lot of plans for this vehicle. And he said also if the motor were to let go, he wants to put a 2JZ in it, which is like the ecstasy of mixtures like a BMW, 2JZ, 1 Series, straight thrust punch right in your, your gut. Oh, these guys are about to race. Let's see who wins this one. I put my money on the Subaru. On the Subaru? Yeah, this thing is fast. Car reviews with races. Yep. You would never believe this car makes 500. Is it the weight? Is it the response? I, I have no clue. This is just straight ecstasy. Definitely could use some brakes because we're not stopping. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But other than that, it is something that we can definitely appreciate and love. Doc Race definitely did a phenomenal job on the turbo kit. The manifold design, there's no boost creep. And then XHP with, with the transmission shifting is just so effortless. Like it's just half throttle shift. And then tire spin so because the, the torque just comes in so hard i tried to give it a little bit of sauce but definitely did not like that <laughs> so do we give it the thumbs up for beamer weekly absolutely this is a phenomenal vehicle it is built right it looks awesome i love the steering wheel i love the dashboard it's so so unique it just it kind of feels like i'm looking at a, a ferrari dash the automatic is not my favorite but it definitely feels awesome to the hand. The seats are cool. I could definitely say it could use some harnesses. So amazing the way it feels. Um, what would I change about the vehicle? I would lower it, change the wheel setup, do the fuel system, but all in all, you get an A-OK -okay from me. 372 Bank and arriving. Perform 372. Are you actually out with the subject? The subject? I am parking right next to the squad right now. Probably be handled with a 21. That works. 